Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Here, let us see the second question paper of DDCO subject that is Digital Design and Computer Organization with the code BCS302. Here I have a syllabus. Let us look at the syllabus and also see the question paper from each module. So from module 1, you can see the first question is demonstrate the working of NAND and XOR gates. So like this, you can expect a question on basic gates and their truth table and the working of those. Here demonstrate the working of NAND and XOR gates means you need to clearly explain how NAND gate and XOR gate uh, truth table will be and you need to write the symbol of those. This is for 6 marks so you need to write much explanation with respect to these two gates. Then the second question is explain the working of test bench in Verilog. What is test bench in Verilog you need to write first. Test bench is the stimulus generator for the design code and by this by test bench we can achieve the different set of values we can give to the design. So you need to explain the test bench and better write the block diagram of DUT as well as the test bench how it will be connected and explain the test bench in very long. Then comes 1c this question is simplify the boolean function into sum of product form and product of sum form. So one question on this will be shown. The expression will be given. You need to write the SOP as well as R the POS will be asked. This is for 8 marks. Each of the expressions realization carries 4 marks. And the choice question if you see the second question from module 1 is write a program in Verilog to demonstrate the working of user defined primitive table. By using user defined primitive table how a Verilog code can be written. That is the question you need to write the Verilog code by taking an example. Realize f is equal to ab plus cd using NAND gates only. Using only NAND gates and only NAR gates question will be asked. Why because in your syllabus if you see NAND gate and NAR gate realization or implementation is there. Basic gate implementation is not there. That's why basically only NAND gate and NAR gate implementation questions will be asked in exam. 2c if you see simplify the following boolean expression using kmap. Uh, the two expressions are given. So one question is on simplification using uh, four variable kmap. One question will be on Verilog. One question will be on NAND gate, NAR gate or basic theorems of Boolean algebra will be there. Coming to module 2. Here module 2 is combinational logic and sequential logic. So write a data flow modeling uh, Verilog code with an example program. So better take an example of 4 is to 1 max or 2 is to 1 max and write the expression and that will be your Verilog code data flow modeling. In the data flow modeling of Verilog we need to use assign keyword. Assign and using the Verilog operators you need to write the expression for the output of the design. So explain data flow modeling in Verilog with example. Better take example of MUX or encode or something like that. Design full ladder and subtractor circuits. So this question also there in module uh, sorry model question paper 1. Also, they have asked to write the code for that. So, better learn full adder, half adder and full subtractor, half subtractor circuits and also the Verilog code. Design an octal to binary encoder. This question is on encoder circuit. You need to write the octal numbers and how to convert that into the binary using encoder. The choice question is explain the working of 4 bit adders using 4 full adders. Means this is a 4 bit adder ripple carry adder design using full ladder design. So first you need to write one full ladder using that you need to design the ripple carry adder for 4 bits. Then design BCD to XS3 code converter. This is also uh, a combinational circuit. Demonstrate the working of SR latch and the edge trigger D flip flop. This is sequential circuit. So two questions or one question will be in the combinational circuit. One question will be in the sequential circuit like that. So in the sequential circuit only latches and flip flops and some uh, basic storage elements are covered here. So you will get a question on SR latch working of that or another flip flop with the test bench and explanation question. Coming to module 3, module 3 is computer organization basics. So basics of computers and instructions and programs. Describe big end n and little end n address assignment is the question asked for 5 marks. This is a theory question. You need to write how big end n numbers are uh, represented or MSB LSP with respect to that and also little Indian. 
So question B, demonstrate the instruction execution and sequencing for this C, A plus B with a block diagram. You need to explain how instruction execution and sequencing will happen for this. With a block diagram, explain the basic function, functional units of a computer. This is also a block diagram and explanation. What are all the components present in a computer and how that functions. Question number 6a. With relevant example, explain the following mode of addressing. So this is addressing mode question also there in model question paper 1 you can see. So one question you can expect from the addressing modes easily. So uh, 6 to 10 marks addressing mode question will be there. A program with 7000 machine instructions needs an average of 3 basic steps to execute an one instruction. Find the performance of the computer having a clock speed. So this is a kind of problem you need to uh, calculate the performance of a computer using the standard expression. So this is asked for 5 marks and also the data as given. What are condition code flags? Mention the significance of the flags N, Z, V and C. So this is about flag register contents. You need to explain the significance of what is N flag, Z flag, V and C. Coming to module 4, module 4 is input output organization. So uh, 7a you can see describe DMA direct memory access with its registers and controllers is asked for 10 marks. Explain the effect of size, cost, speed in the memory hierarchy for 10 marks. And uh, the choice question they have asked hardware interrupt enabling disabling the interrupts and sequence of events in handling the interrupts request from a single device. So this interrupt question is sure. Again, you can expect um, explain the interrupt uh, interrupts and different types and how the sequence of uh, interrupt handling will be done, uh, interrupt request handling will be done, will be the question you can expect. Describe the different memory mapping functions is the question 8p. So this is module 4. Coming to module 5, you can see here module 4, module 5 and all contains only 10 marks questions. Uh, so these are bit theory questions, you can easily expect the questions and write it um, in the descriptive way, a long answer carries much marks. Module 5 is about basic processing unit, ALU performance and uh, how the storage in the memory and all. Describe how ALU performs an arithmetic and logical operations along input gating diagrams. Explain four stage pipeline with diagrams. The choice question contains explain the complete set of operations involved in execution of instruction add R3, R1 along with control sequence. What are hazards? Explain data hazard, control hazard and structural hazards for 10 marks. So this is about the model question paper 2 of DDCO subject. So you can see this, uh, these questions and I will try to answer all these questions and provide you in the other video. So this is about the model question paper 2. In the previous video, I have given you the model question paper 1 explanation and also the answers for those will be provided in the next video. Thank you.